Yo guys, it's your boy Simon B. 1471 checking in and a big hello to you all. So if you're wondering what this is, this is my microphone. I've got it closer to me because I know sometimes when I do these live vids it sounds like I'm a million miles away. So yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, today what I want to talk about, there's a few things really which have been on my mind. And I'm going to tell you what they are now so you can skip through to the video at whatever point is of interest to you. So firstly, today what I'm going to be talking about is Titanfall. Um, the reason I've not been uploading it on my channel, it's not a hate video in any way, shape or form guys. So I'm going to talk about that for the first few minutes. Then I'm going to go on talking about the Xbox One and the problems and why PS4 really has won the so called you know, console war. And then at the end of this video I'm going to be talking about what is happening with my channel. So let's get on with it. So guys the first thing I want to talk about is Titanfall. Now, as you all know, I did a few videos about Timefall, you know, when it was first released. Really enjoyed the game, you know, it's a brilliant game. But there's just something missing. Now, I don't even know what is missing. Is there something missing? I don't really know, guys, to be honest with you. Um, it's a good game. It is a really, really good game, but I just don't feel the urge to want to play it. I don't, I don't really know what is wrong with the game. Um, it plays well, you know, the heat detection's fine, you know, the servers are fine for me. I know they've had a few problems with the servers, but, you know, it's a new game. You know, you've got to allow a game to have, you know, its teething problems, um, especially when it's its first, you know, release. It's, it's the first, you know, one in the series, of which there's probably going to be more games, you know, coming out in the future. But for Timefall, for me, I don't know. I, I just feel there's something missing, but I don't know what is missing. That that is the most awkward thing about it now normally with most games if I don't enjoy them I can understand why but with Titanfall there appears to be nothing wrong with it but it just doesn't inspire me to want to play the game and I don't know if you guys feel like that this is just my opinion you know I could be wrong you know all you guys could be absolutely loving the game um, but if you've been following my channel for a while you know I only upload what I'm enjoying playing. Um, I know if I run my YouTube channel a different way and you know just purely uploaded you know one actual game, I would probably have loads more subscribers. But I just play what I want, and I think that reflects you know most video game players out there. You play what you want, you play what you're enjoying, and unfortunately at the moment I'm not enjoying Timefall. But what's more frustrating for me as a video game player is I don't know what's wrong with Timefall. I really don't. Is it because kill streaks aren't there on there, and I've got used to Call of Duty over the years? I don't really know. I really, really don't know, and it's frustrating for me um, because, right, I can remember the good old days, right? Because I'm older than probably a lot of you who watches my video. And by the way, guys, leave a comment in the comment section if you're older than me. I'm 30 year old now, so I'm getting on a bit. I'm like an old man of video gaming. But if you're older than 30, leave a comment. Let me know. Um, it'd be nice to know that somebody watches me who's older than me. Um, but yeah, back in the good old days of like Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, I would go to work and all that would be on my mind all day is like, oh, I can't wait until I get home to play Modern Warfare 2. And then I'd have a five hour session. I wouldn't even eat my tea. I'd just be like, boom, straight on Xbox. And unfortunately, I haven't had a game for a few years now where I felt like that. You know, Black Ops 2 was alright when it got released, but that got boring very quickly for me. Um, just frustration, be the balances of the game and stuff. But yeah, since Black Ops 1 probably, I haven't really been that, you know, excited about going home, playing a video game. So, I don't know, what was the last time you guys was actually excited about playing a video game? Leave a comment, let me know. Um, now, what I want to go on about today, this this is going to be, you know, a bit of a rant. This is about the Xbox One. Okay, so if you don't like rants, I'm sorry guys, but I'm just venting my frustration more than anything else. Now, when the consoles was being released, it was the Xbox One which was kind of, you know, marketing itself around the fact that it's an all-in-one entertainment system. Okay, and the PS4 was just basically going the entire opposite, you know, as far left and right winged as possible. The PS4 was going we're making a console for video gamers it's going to purely focus on video games and obviously that's reflected you know in the ps4 you know technical specifications of it 
the PS4 is technically a much better machine for video gaming. But Microsoft, at the point of them releasing their system, was like, yeah, but we've got all this, you know, kind of multimedia stuff, you know, blah 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 And unfortunately, that's impacted on the, you know, performance of the console. Now, the Xbox One, for me, is awful. It is so slow. If you haven't, you know, experienced this yourself, guys, please, for the love of God, do not buy an Xbox One. You will be disappointed because, number one, it is really, really slow. Say, for example, somebody, you know, sends you a message. From you getting that message, for you being able to read it, 30 seconds. 30 seconds to be able to do that. The interface is so slow and, unfortunately, if you've got a PC, what runs Windows 8? Windows 8 is awful. It, it's, it's just awful. It's the biggest cock up in Microsoft history. And unfortunately for me, and all other video gamers, a lot of you may like Windows 8. You know, I, I'm very opinionated, guys. So if you're thinking I'm talking a load of shit, I do apologise, it's my opinion. But Windows 8 is shit on a computer. And unfortunately, Microsoft decided to kind of build their xbox one interface and their main menu options around windows 8 well around the windows 8 style and that's just not valid that's just not a good way of doing it for a console you know menu system there was nothing wrong with the 360 and their actual interface you could get to messages like instantly there'd be pop-ups when your friends come online because guys it doesn't do that when you're on the xbox one no pop-ups when your mates are online um, and the old interface and just is so slow like I've had maybe four updates now for the Xbox One they are frantically trying to make their machine quicker and unfortunately they can't because the performance and the hardware isn't there it isn't there and I say the console war but really a war implies that both sides have got some kind of a chance of winning and the Xbox guys the Xbox One has got no chance of winning the PS4. The Xbox One is glitchy. It it backs to main menu all the time. You'll be playing a game and it'll just crash. Or you'll be loading a game up at the start and it'll crash and go back to the main menu. It's just awful. And I've tried contacting Major Nelson about this right a few times. Because every single interview I've seen Major Nelson do on YouTube is with people who have got loads of subscribers. And basically Major Nelson's gone on. And he's just being flattered by these YouTubers. These YouTubers see Major Nelson as like a kind of a messiah of fucking Microsoft. No. What Major Nelson needs is a proper grilling from somebody like me who will say exactly what they think and what those gamers think. Because me as an Xbox consumer, I will be selling my Xbox One at some point and buying a PS4. Without a doubt. The only reason at the moment I'm not doing that is because it all comes down to this legend players are on xbox one they're not on ps4 but there's rumors that activision are going to jump ship with call of duty they're going to make all the exclusive stuff on the ps4 instead of the xbox one and you know activision aren't daft they know that sales figures for the consoles are a lot better for the ps4 than the xbox one and it's because of the reasons i've mentioned number one it's more expensive number two it's not technically as good and number three they've basically lost their core audience at the end of the day, right, multimedia bullshit aside, why would you buy an Xbox One? You would buy it because you want a video games console, not because you want a multimedia entertainment fucking centre. There's better ways of watching TV and video and music. It's called a fucking television set. You know, that's how you can do it. I don't even plug my Sky or my cable provider into the back of my Xbox. It's pointless. I just use another HDMI port on my TV. But the reason why Microsoft went down that route is they want to make more money. Because obviously if you've got an Xbox One, um, they've got like their own kind of you know video rental store or TV series rental. And they charge you extortionate amounts. And that's why they went with this multimedia entertainment system. Because the boffins at Microsoft would have thought, hold on a minute, we're missing out on something here. We can make a load more money by doing this. So instead of just selling games, which... we to be fair, they probably don't make that much on, and they probably make a loss on the console. But there's reports that they make a loss on the console because they've got to, you know, pay Sony a certain amount for the Blu-ray privileges or whatever. But they make a load of money just on streaming stuff to us. 
Now, yeah, I can understand. They want to make money. They're a business. But there has to be stuff there for the core you know, market. Because obviously you buy an Xbox One because you want a video games console. And it's shit. And the PS4 is going to win. It is definitely going to win. Now, the video's gone 10 minutes already. So I'm sure most people have turned off. But if you haven't turned off at this point, thank you for that. Um, and a bit of information about my channel. I'm going to be putting a lot more FIFA stuff on because that's what I'm enjoying at the moment. It's as simple as, guys. And I don't really want to ramble on about stuff because, you know, I've wasted 10 minutes of your time. So, if you have actually stayed until the end, guys, type in the comments section, I stayed till the end. And that would be awesome because then I know who's watching my video all the way to the end. But thanks as always, guys. You know, I love doing these live videos. Um, I always get some hate, but oh well. I don't really care, I'm very opinionated, but thanks for watching guys, until next time, look after yourselves, bye for now.